is Grace, and today I am going to read the Bible story. Today's the Bible title is The Brave and Beautiful Queen, Esther. Let's read. It is very hot. Esther was the queen of Persia. When her husband, King Xerxes, didn't know her secret, Esther was Jewish. Father Esther's cousin, Mordecai. Worked it at the palace and looked out for her. So Esther was the queen of Persia, and he was a Jewish, and also his husband, King Xerxes, didn't know her secret. Sorry. Growing right. <laughs> Xerxes' advisor Haman recited a great world. He was very proud. Everyone except Mordecai bowed down to him. Haman was insulted. He vowed to kill Mordecai and the all Jewish. So Haman He stirred a great world. So he was in a good position and he was very proud of him. And when Haman came, everyone bowed down and said, Mordecai. So Haman was so. Like, not feeling good because Mordecai was. Not bowing down. So, like, if he hated him only, like, uh, it will be a little bit okay, but Haman didn't like the Jewish because only Mordecai did not bow down to him, only because of that. Haman told Jerksy that the Jewish were very dangerous and should be died. Xerxes agreed and set a day to kill them. Mordecai was terrified and sent a message to the Queen Esther. So Haman was feeling not good and he was mad because Mordecai was not bowing to him. And to the king, Mordecai said, like, they're very dangerous and they should be died. And Mordecai saw that, he was terrified, and told to the queen, Esther. Question how man was to wanted to kill Jewish people. True. Change the king's mind, said Mordecai. If I go to him without 
his invitation, he can have killed me. Esther replied, Perhaps you were made queen just for this moment, said Mordecai. So Mordecai has gone to Queen Esther. My eyes is too small. <laughs> so but if Queen Esther don't go with his permission invitation then he sh should be killed because in these days there are many people that who have harmed the king so if only they they have to see when they have the permission the invitation or if King Xerxes agreed and gave one stop thing. Esther bravely agreed to try. She went to the throne room. King Xerxes was amazed by her beauty and invited her in. Can we have a dinner with Taman? She asked. So she have asked the king. The king was amazed by her beauty. And if they touch that, they will be alive. Like that mean invitation, and she asked for the dinner with Haman. Question: Who told Esther to change the king's mind about killing the Jewish? Number two, Ham, no, no Mordecai. Haman was building a big gallow in the in his backyard. He planned it to hang Mordecai on it. Then the king's invitation arrived, so Hamad went to the palace for dinner. So Haman was making a gallow to hang Mordecai. In that time, the invitation came. <laughs> and man want to kill me and my people, the Jewish Esther told Xerxes, who would do such a thing? He asked. The evil Haman, Esther cried. Haman, guards put him to death. So they were like the king saw Esther was not good, and king said, "Tell your wish what you want." And Esther said that Haman is going to kill our people. So, Haman has died. So Haman hanged on the gallow. He built for Mordecai because of Esther. The Jewish were saved. They celebrate what the great fe feast, which they observe to this day.
they were safe because of Jewish, uh, because of Queen Esther. <laughs> if in the picture someone is doing this like you, they will dance like that. Question. God allowed Esther to be the queen at this time to save the Jewish people from that. True. Yes, today oh, we have got another star. Yes, today I read the Bible story. Did you enjoy? And next time I will read another good story. Then let's see you next time. Bye!